on this episode of the Fell Engine Project. I make the Crosshead Guide support plates, starting with 3mm steel plate, which I square and reduce to final size in the mill. Once the plates are square and cut to size, I mark them out. Next I tack the plates together using a TIG welder. This will allow both plates to be machined at the same time. I locate the TIG welds on the areas of the plate that will be cut away in the final machining processes. When the tacks are complete, it's off to the mill, where I drill a 10mm hole as a start for an end mill. With the 10mm end mill, I cut the central opening in the plate. I use the digital readout to accurately locate the opening. Then it was time to drill some holes, using a spotting drill, followed by a 2.5mm drill bit. Once the drilling is complete, it's time for a tool change. So out with the drill chuck and in with the collet chuck and end mill. I use the end mill to cut a relief in the side of the plate.
Then I cut away the remaining excess material in several passes, removing the tack welds in the process. Now the plates are to shape, it's off to the bench for final filing. I use a combination of different hand files, from busted cut to fine cut, in different shapes such as square and round to finish all the corners. With the plates finished up, the next step is to make some corner brackets, starting with some old 15mm square bar, which I cut to size in the bandsaw before loading in the mill. I reduced the bar to size using a 12mm end mill. Once machined to size, I cut away the corner to form the angle of the bracket using the same end mill. Then it's time to drill a couple more holes. These ones are at 2.1mm to suit threading at M2.5. I load the spring loaded tapping guide in the chuck before adding a little cutting oil to the tap and then cutting the thread. Then it was back to the bench to cut the brackets to size with a hacksaw followed by some hand filing. Then the parts are screwed into place using M2.5 hex socket dome head machine screws. And here we have the frame with the crosshead guide support plates fixed in place, bringing me ever closer to finishing the frame. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for future episodes.